Hi everyone, it's me Ola here and today we are going to talk about the cases of the noun. I want to apologize in advance in case if you hear some noise while I'm speaking, uh, but there is a fan working near me because it is that hot in my flat that if I turn it off I will literally melt down. So sorry for that. I, I hope it doesn't ruin the video for me because for this one I was preparing seriously because the topic is serious and the topic is complicated. Especially if you are somebody who is an English native speaker or uh, a speaker of another language that doesn't have cases in, in that language. In all the Slavic languages we have cases, but only in Ukrainian I think we have seven of them. So let's figure out what is the case and how it works and why do we have cases. So what is the case? The case is a grammatical category that helps us show or helps us identify how the noun works or interacts with the other words in a sentence. It helps us show the role of the a noun in a sentence and it makes more clear the connections uh, between the words in a sentence or in a word combination. So why do we need to know cases? To sound more grammatically correct and to be more specific as to what we are talking about. So how does the case work? What does it do to a noun? What makes one case different from the other one? So we have one case that is basic, a nominative case, and that is the word without a change. That's, that's, the, that's basically the noun, uh, the way you see it in a dictionary, the way you would write it down into your vocabulary, so that is a, um, let's say, basic uh, form, basic shape of the noun. But when we need to use any other case other than nominative, we might need to uh, make a small change within a sentence. What kind of change? First of all, the noun, in uh, whenever the case of it changes, the ending of it changes as well. So basically, the ending is the part of the noun that that goes in the end, that's why it's called ending, and it's the part of the word that is changeable, right? Whether, when the rest of the word is more or less stable, the ending always changes whenever we change the case. For example, schola, school, right? But there is no what, school, like there is no school. Nemaje čoho školi. Nemaje školy. He is at school. Vin u školi. So it will be škola, the nominative, školi, školu, školu, you, and so on. So you see the very um, last part of the word, the ending is changing. We will take a look at this uh, part more in details, of course, because it's much more complicated, but just for you to have a general idea. I said that the rest of the noun that is not the ending is more or less stable, and it is more or less stable, but sometimes we have a change in the stable part as well. In the root of the noun, sometimes um, some consonants or even some vowels can be alterated, but this alteration is strictly following the rule, and we can figure it out in a later video when we are going to talk about cases more in detail. So if, for example, we will take the word um, ruka, which is a hand, but in the hand v ruci, okay, so ruka, ruci, uh, the leg, noha, but uh, on the leg, for example, na nozi, so noha, nozi, you see that um, he changes to ze, and ka in ruka changes to ce, ru, Ka ruci. That's the kind of alteration the uh, noun can get when we are changing the case. And sometimes uh, there can be vowel alteration as well. For example, as in a word rig, year. Uh, so, but in a year, u roci. So you see that e in the root has changed to o rig roci, and ka obviously has changed to c, following the rule. So, as I said before, in Ukrainian we have seven cases, and now we are going to take a very quick look at all of them. And, and maybe I will tell you some examples, but in order to learn all of them and how they work, 
we might need much more time and I'm planning to dedicate um, a special video for each and every case of Ukrainian language so that we can take a look at it more in details so there hopefully will be seven videos following this one but for now let's begin so the first case is nominative but in Ukrainian it sounds like nazivny vidminok the case is vidminok so nazivny vidminok nominative case and it is basically the base of um, the basic for the basic form of the noun and in order to identify the case we are putting a question to each of them so the question for a nominative case would be what or who so basically who uh, Ola, um, a student student or a teacher вчитель, uh, or вчителі, as in plural of uh, teachers or what um, a chair kreslo a room kimnata a house budinok from now on the endings will change and you will see how it works the next case is called genitive or rodový vidminok uh, and it shows the belonging and the possession of something by someone so the question for it would be whose of whom of. so the question for it would be whose of whom and of what for an unhuman things olha's book kniha uh, olhe so the word olhe would be in um genitive case the principal of school director školy so the word škola školy would be in a genitive case while the nominative for it is škola Olha škola, but Olhe, whose Olhe, uh, of what, of a school, školy. Um, for example, the back of the chair, um, spinka, stilca. So stilets is nominative case for the chair, but stilca of what, stilca. The next case we got in English sounds like dative dative case and in Ukrainian it is davalny vidminok. Davalny comes from the verb davate to give. So uh, the question for it would be to give to whom and we can also use verbs uh, such verbs as to show to whom or to give to whom or to tell to whom. Uh, so it's basically as uh, an indirect object in English. So to give to Robert. Date Robertu. Robertu. So Robert is uh, nominative. Robertu uh, is a dative case. To show to students. Pokazate studentam. To show to students. Pokazate studentam. So studenti is a nominative case for students, the plural word, and studentam to show to whom is the, the dative case of this word. To tell his mother. Skazate yoho materi. So uh, matir is nominative and materi is dative. The next case is accusative or in Ukrainian znahidny vidminok. Znahidny comes from uh, the verb znahodity, uh, which means to find. So therefore we will have the question to find whom or to find what. So to find what, znajte ščo. Igrašku, školu, um, kimnatu, divčinku, chlopčeka, uh, and so on. Okay, the next case is instrumental or orudny vidminok in Ukrainian. Basically, orutuvati chemos uh, uh, means like to handle with or to use something. Uh, for example, I cut with a knife. Uh, so a knife in this case would be an instrumental case uh, or he writes with a pen uh, a pen would be uh, the in the pen would be a noun in instrumental case in in Ukrainian so let's see how it works so with a pen ruchkoyu ruchka is the nominative uh, so the instrumental would be ruchkoyu mashina uh, the car but by car Machinuyu, uh, a knife, niz, but with a knife, nozem, nozem, or like you see something with your own eyes, with the eyes, so ochi, eyes, but ochema, with the 
ice. With people it very often comes with the preposition with, like um, to go somewhere with a friend, с другом, uh, with a teacher, с вчителем, so друг, um, nominative, с другом, um, instrumental. Uh, with a teacher, вчитель, nominative, с вчителем, um, instrumental. Oleg, uh, it's Ukrainian masculine name, so z uh, Olegom, with Oleg. Uh, Olha is it's my name and it's a Ukrainian name as well. Uh, so, but with Olha, to go somewhere with Olha, z Olgoyu. So you see the change in the ending here as well. So the case number six is um, locative or місцевий відмінок. Місцевий uh, comes from місце, uh, which means place or location. And the nouns in this case are always used with a preposition such as in, u, v, or on, which means na. Uh, so when something is placed or located somewhere, and this somewhere is the noun that would be in a locative place, um, in a locative case. Uh, for example, on a table, na stoli. We have still in nominative case, it's still, so there is e in the root, but it changes to o uh, in, a, um, in a locative case. So still, sto, li, and plus ending e. Uh, for example, the yard, podvirya, but in the yard, na podvirji. Um, at school, u školi, škola, u školi. Uh, so the nominative for a car is mašina, ends in a, but when we make it locative case, v mašini, in the car. So the ending a changes to the ending e. Машина в машині. And the last case is vocative or кличний відмінок. Кличний comes from кликати, to call somebody. And not on the phone, but to call someone directly. So we use it whenever we address someone. And there is no question for this uh, case. It is just uh, for addressing people or things. So when you have, uh, for example, mama, is for mother, but when you want to call her, you would, but if you want to address her, you would say mamo, sestra, but if you want to address your sister, sestro, Olha, Olho, um, uh, for example, a teacher, but if you want to address a teacher, Vchetelu, for example, let's take uh, Ukrainian masculine name, um, Stepan, so if you want to address somebody called Stepan, you would say Stepane, Stepane. So there is only the change of the ending and um, there is no question to help us identify this one, but it's easy, it's just when you are calling for somebody to come to you or to do something or whatever you would like to address somebody. So this was a very quick review, quick look at all the cases we have in Ukrainian. I hope this video was useful and of course we are going to talk more in details about each and every of them because this video is obviously not enough, it's just to give you the general idea. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, дякую за перегляд, гарного вам дня, на все добре, bye!